Well, hello and welcome back to the backlog and welcome to Escape from the Marble Monster. Now, this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but if you've ever played one of those marble maze games growing up where you, you've got two knobs and you got to tilt the maze and get the marble through without falling through, this is very much that, but with an extra sheen of video game goodness. So let me kind of show you around and show you what we're talking about here. So here you can see we are on this uh, this wheel wheel of levels and there are a whole 40 levels that you can play and it's ridiculous how many you can play i've unlocked a couple let's see here yeah okay we'll go to this one and i'll show you around a little bit and then we'll show you the other one so here you are and you are a marble and there's there's different views to the thing and right now this is this is original view and you gotta tilt and pick up some speed and get going around. Now, um, this this would be this would be fine and this would be a good challenge, but there are these little crystals that you got to pick up. So you can't just oh yes, and then you've got a, an evil bad guy who's following you around. So you can't just you can't just go along and be fine. Here's a hole that you'd fall in and die. This is a, a bumper. Oh, actually, almost got me some extra time there. Uh, you can see we got time up in the far left corner there. And then we've got some special abilities that we can use a limited number of times for each level. Um, and for each level, I mean each run of each level. And I'm collecting these, and if I get a bunch of these, these are the currency you can use to buy various uh, upgrades. Don't touch the bumpers. They, yeah, mess you up real good. Ah. And you can see it's 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 gonna be challenging. It's gonna have that same challenge as the normal marble game. But then this guy chases you around, and you can use your special abilities to get rid of him, or you can just zip on out of there and and hope he doesn't chase you. Now, when you get enough of the, uh, come here, come here. Yeah, there you go. When you get enough of them, suddenly this big one will appear and allow you to escape the level. Thus, the name of the game, Escape the Marble Monster. Monster Death. Monster Death. There we go. Oh, no, almost got it. Almost got it. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. Yay, stars collected, monster kills, hourglass collected. And we get our giant score. And then the tree of prizes gives you your awards. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous, but I'm here for it. And then you can go to the next level. And as you can see, each of the levels is dramatically different. Just because of what's going on. So this one has uh, your standard death balls, death pits, death monster and I've only I've only got to get four to finish this, this one and unlock the level so yeah if you, if you get to a level and you're like you know what I don't particularly care for this level you can actually just go and grab a couple of crystals out of the level and uh, and move right along and then use the crystals to upgrade and perhaps get uh, special ability um, which I actually haven't unlocked on this this particular account there it is. No, he's going to get me. And it's best that we don't actually see this in high detail. So that's good. <laughs> and then we get respawned. And we still have all of our still have all of our stars and everything. So all we have to do is just now come over here. Don't fall into the pits of doom. And get the end. Yes, we didn't get killed by the we, we didn't kill the monster, but we do get some more points. And we didn't even get any stars because we didn't get a lot of the crystals hardly at all. The tree of prizes grants you nothing. Absolutely nothing. We didn't do it. Oh, this is a good one. I like this one. 
I like this level because it's got lots of twists and turns, and so you gotta actually control the marble. And you can't just ride along the, the edge, because the edge is real bumpy. <laughs> ah. Nope. Nope. And this is, this is really just using the mouse here to quite good effect, actually. Oh, I skipped over a whole section. I don't belong here because I didn't open that door, but I bounced right over it. And now I'm here. I wonder if they programmed it so this button that opens the next door will open the first door, too. That would be nice if it did. Yeah, so then you just come over here and you push the button. It doesn't open the other door. Hmm. All right, game devs, if if this is going to be a possibility, you need to be uh, need to be thinking about it. Put that in there. Make it so it opens up all previous doors too, just in case somebody <laughs> bobbles up over. So yeah, that is totally a possibility. Something you can totally do in the game. Yeah, yeah, it's relaxing, and I have actually in a single run gotten all the crystals in a level. I did that with the first level. And then I think I did that with this level too, but on my other computer, and it's not... Not transferring over. There we go, we've opened it. But I want more than just success. I want perfection. Ugh. Ugh. No, I just want to survive, please. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so that first section actually held quite a lot of these crystals that we weren't able to get. Because we just jumped over. Sad times. So there you have it. That is Escape from the Marble Monster. It's not everybody's cup of tea. But if you ever played one of those and you're like, hey, I want to try one of those, but I want 40 different versions of that game... Well, then this is the game for you, Escape from Marvel Monster. And, as always, I'll play with you again next time, here on The Backlog.